How did Mary treat you and your three sisters, including Kathy? She always treated us equally. She she always wanted us to never feel like one person was more, you know, loved or privileged in her eyes than any other. No further questions, Your Honor. Thank you. Counsel, cross examination. Do you really expect the jury to believe that you let your aunt sit in a home for over a year and a half while cats ate off her plate? Is that your testimony today? That you sat there and you visited your aunt once a week and you did nothing? I did what I could while I was there. I certainly tried to clean up. I brought food. I, I, I couldn't live with her all the time. <coughs> Isn't it true you did nothing? I did not do nothing. That is not true. That's not true? Isn't it also true that while you were a power of attorney for Mary, you were caught trying to withdraw $40,000 to buy a Ferrari? That is ridiculous. I'm sorry? That is ridiculous. How close would you say... Kathy was with Mary? No, about as close as she was with any of us, really. Uh, towards the end, they were able to spend more time with one another as Kathy was living there. Well, Kathy was living there to take care of her, correct? Among other things. You were not living there, were you? I was not. Isn't it true that you were too busy chasing your career? I was very busy with my job. That's correct. And you're aware that so was... Kathy, and you're aware that Kathy gave up that career to take care of her aunt, yes? I wouldn't call it a career, but yes. Yes. Now, were you at the bank when Mary asked to have Kathy's name put on that joint account and asked to remove you from that joint account? No. <clears throat> and you weren't there because you had decided to go with your girlfriend to the Cape for the weekend, correct? I don't recall that you don't recall? weekend. Do you recall going to the Cape with your girlfriend? I do, but I don't recall if that was the okay. same weekend. Do you recall giving your deposition testimony where I asked, did Mary contact you and ask you to bring her to the bank? And you responded, yes. And I asked, why didn't you bring her to the bank? And you responded, well, you know, I really just wanted to go away with my girlfriend. Did I accurately read your deposition testimony? If that's what it says, then sure. <coughs> and how much do you stand to gain as the executor if you successfully change what Mary wanted to do with the funds? Myself, personally, not a lot. We're dividing everything equally, so it's what myself and my other two sisters uh, are what we think we're entitled to is just uh, a portion of what was in her checking account. But your other two sisters aren't here today in support of you, are they? They're not here today, no. I'm the executor, so that's why I brought the case. And your other two sisters haven't talked to you since you brought this case, correct? Uh, we don't We don't have a close relationship, no. Your other two sisters haven't talked to you, have they? No. Thank you very much, counsel. Uh, before we continue, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to explain one of the terms that just got used, which is a deposition. Uh, if, one, if, if there is a, a, a court proceeding in which someone is suing somebody else, each party is allowed ahead of time, before a trial like this occurs, to, to bring in the other party or to bring in the other witnesses that might testify, to have them sworn under oath in that attorney's office, and then to ask them questions and have them answered. And the reason for that is to allow for things like what just happened, to allow uh, uh, the, the attorneys for both sides to, to, listen to, to allow you to listen to the testimony of a witness and then bring up for purposes of maybe challenging the credibility of the witness. Uh, similar or answers to questions that might have been kind of different in the deposition than they were at trial. So when you hear that term deposition, that's, what, that's what's being meant. Thank you. Uh, next witness, counsel. Your Honor, the plaintiff rests. Thank you, counsel. Defense. Good afternoon, Your Honor. The defense calls its first witness, 
Sam, I'm sorry. <laughs>